The results of the 2020 election left both of Georgia's Senate seats up for grabs. Both races will be decided in a January 5th runoff election after none of the four candidates received more than 50% of the vote. And the stakes are high. How Georgians vote will ultimately determine the balance of power in the Senate. The two groupings of campaigns are Senator Perdue versus John Ossoff. And retirement is coming for Senator David Perdue. And Senator Kelly Loeffler versus Reverend Raphael Warnock. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, you're not going to take Georgia. After the November election, Republicans hold 50 seats while Democrats hold 48. This means that Republicans just need to win one of the two races to keep their majority. But if Democrats win both, then the Senate will be split 50-50. This includes two independents who tend to vote alongside Democrats. This even split would still tilt the Senate in Democrats' favor, because any tie votes would be broken by Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Both Purdue and Loeffler have the advantage of running as incumbents. Purdue has one term under his belt, while Loeffler was appointed at the end of 2019 when her predecessor resigned. At the same time, Georgia narrowly turned blue in the presidential election and is home to a wave of strong Democratic influence. Warnock and Ossoff are relatively fresh to politics. Ossoff comes from a media background and ran an unsuccessful special election campaign for a House seat in 2017. This is a moment when all of us should be uniting. Warnock is in his first run, but brings to the table a church work, activist, and nonprofit background. He would be the first elected Black Democratic senator from the Deep South. And I'm talking to real Georgians who are struggling with real issues. The two Senate seats will make a massive difference in whether President-elect Biden will be able to pass promised legislation in his first term. We are already beginning the transition. We're well underway. It could also make the difference for his cabinet appointments, who will face deep scrutiny from Republicans. So while it may just be one state, all eyes are on Georgia as their runoff elections approach. <laughs>